Okay, so y'all got domains. What else are you immune to? Or what are you not? Thank you to our final patrons, Red Wolf, 4765, Midnight Gem Lord, and Sean. Thank you to our $3 members, Recliner Plays, and Red Wolf, 4765. And a very big thank you to our $25 patron, Alex Ice Rose. Before we have this breakdown, slash discussion and analysis on what the Heavenly Restriction users are immune to and what they are not immune to, please don't leave your own list on what they're immune to and not immune to in the comments section down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit that little notification so you miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do a patron below, each more videos as low as one, count them one, double one, exclusive the videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member of the channel for as low as three dollars a month to get the same perks and more. Now, let's hop into the discussion. What's up, guys? All the here, and here we are to discuss the immunity levels of the heavenly restriction users. Maybe because, like, fun fact, I do have other social media accounts you can go follow if you are intrigued in more pencil content. And one of them was on TikTok. And one of the things that was brought up was Toji. And Maki versus Yuda. And personally, I believe there's a pretty obvious win con for Yuda. I think if he hits them up with cursed speech round start, then they're done. Because they would just get paralyzed in place because they have no means to resist it because they don't have cursed energy to block their ears. And thusly, they would get hit by it. GG. Bada bing, bada boom. Rika slams their heads in. But a lot of people were commenting on that video that cursed speech wouldn't work on them. They're immune to domains, so cursed speech wouldn't work on them. Cursed speech will not work. Cursed speech, they're immune to cursed speech. And I sat back and thought about it, and I don't think they are. But let's talk about what they are immune to first. First things first, they are immune to barriers. Maybe. Yes, they are, because the narrator said it. So barriers, they're immune to, because they can just walk in and out of them, because they have no cursed energy to be recognized by the barrier, so they are good. They're essentially buildings. It's like a rock. They're essentially just living, breathing, walking, talking rocks when it comes to domains. But specifically domain barriers or any barrier-related technique. Notably, I don't think Gege actually thought of this the entire time because you can see way back when in the Gojo's past arc, Toji does get affected by a barrier domain or at least the domain of a cursed spirit. But then again, he responds to it. So maybe he didn't even know. But then again, he notes that. He says he's an invisible man, so he even notes back then that he's immune to barriers and tracking and stuff like that, but for some reason, he still interacts with that one, so maybe he doesn't know that he can choose to not interact with the domain as long as he just stands there, because, you know, Toji, he was rusty, he may have been messing around a little bit, and it's not like domains are super common in the modern age, so it's highly unlikely that he runs into domain expansions all that often, so we can let Toji slide for that one, and obviously, we have the big major example where it gets confirmed by the narrator that Barriers simply do not recognize Maki and Toji as they have zero cursed energy as heavenly restriction users. Bada bing, bada boom. Thusly, any characters with a domain such as Mahito, Jogo, Dagon, anyone like that, or even anyone with higher level barrier domains, simply can't do anything. They wouldn't be able to be recognized by Akari's domain. They wouldn't be able to be recognized by Megami's domain. They wouldn't be able to be recognized by anybody's domain. It's just not out of that. But notably, I lied. They would be able to be recognized by barrierless domains. Mainly because barrierless domains don't care. Because the main thing that they're immune to is the cursed energy tracking of barriers. That's what's specifically noted in chapter 198, and I'll quote it. Like Toji, Maki doesn't have any cursed energy, so barrier techniques treat her as a building. Now you must use an actual structure as the barrier's exterior, like Fushiguro did in Tokyo Colony Number 1, but unless she consents, he can't trap her inside a domain. So they essentially get to go through and absolutely ignore any barrier domain. As, quote, the chapter says, the domain's guaranteed hit couldn't recognize Maki because she has no cursed energy. So, that works. But note the wording. The barrier. <laughs> the domain's guaranteed hit could not recognize it because the barrier didn't count. If it was a physical barrier like a building, it would have been fine. But since it wasn't a building... Well, now you got GG, because his own barrier cannot recognize something without cursed energy as an individual to attack. However, Sukuna's domain... You know, the divine one, yeah, it doesn't care if you're a building or not, it's built to render everything to the ground. Specifically with this mantle instead of cleave, that may be the only issue. Maybe you could hypothetically argue that they could eat some dismantles, but considering the massive rate that the dismantles are fired at and the level of cursed energy behind them, yeah, they would still get GG'd by Sakuna's domain, because it literally 
takes into account buildings and destroys them too so even they would not be able to escape that the only other questionable burialless domain is kenjaku's because we aren't exactly sure how that one works or would target them because notably it's not like kenjaku's barrier like crushed the ground that yuki was running on it just mainly crushed her and attacked her cursed energy so maybe that wouldn't work but i do believe considering it's the barriers that they're immune to because they lack cursed energy i think they still would get hit they'd still be targeted by the domain because they're like a living breathing thing but maybe not maybe it's their rock people immunity that allows them to ignore that but that's the big thing they're immune to barriers they are not immune to being affected by cursed energy and that's the big debacle on what they are and aren't immune to. So let's take another major example of someone who can place things on things that are either curse energy infused or not, Kashimo. A big question in the Kashimo versus Toji and Maki matchup is, well, would he even be able to place charges on them? They don't have any cursed energy for the latch onto. But Kashimo's works very specifically on just things he makes contact with. As we see in the fight with Akari in chapter 188, when Hikari is currently trying to slam Kashimo down, beat him down real quick, we see that Hikari is noted to still get hit by lightning because Kashimo notes, as for accumulating electrical charge, you're not the only one, Hikari. Kashimo retrieved cursed energy as an electrical feedback along the chosen route through Hikari. So yeah, even on his staff, which isn't anything special, it's literally just a staff, which shouldn't have any cursed energy in it, he can still attach charges to, so they aren't immune to that. They'll still be able to get hit by the charges as it's just him placing charges on something. He can hypothetically beat a wall to death and then bada bing bada boom, it would also have charges on it so he could hit that with a lightning bolt too. So Kashimo's attacks would still work. The big one, the discussion of the video, is cursed energy from cursed speech. Would that affect them? And yeah, it has no reason not to. Notably because of how cursed speech works. All it is is someone attacking you with cursed energy infused words and then you have to follow the words command. The main defense against cursed speech, which is why a lot of people can usually neg it as long as they know their opponent has it, is the fact that you can reinforce your ears with cursed energy to block it out. Like you would reinforce your body with cursed energy to block out physical hits. Toji and Maki can't do that. Like, they legitimately have no way to defend themselves against something like that. So they would still definitely be affected, probably worse than anybody. Because most sorcerers would probably be able to, like, subconsciously defend themselves in a similar way to Mahito noting that Nanami actually subconsciously defended his own soul <laughs> from being attacked by Idle Transfiguration. But when it comes to cursed speech, you need to have cursed energy to defend against it. Maki and Toji have no cursed energy. Thusly, if someone like Yuda, someone powerful enough to actually, you know, do something to them, were to say stop, or were to say explode, or were to say perish, they probably just would, which is weird to think about, but yeah, they have no defenses against cursed speech specifically. The only hypothetical defense I could see against it is them just dodging it. Like, they can tell that Yuta's about to do it, and they avoid it. Like, they get out of the range of the sound. Because literally, we know they can move faster than sound. It's not entirely crazy for them to just straight up, ah, and, and run if they can recognize what's about to happen. But if they get hit by it, they still would be affected. We know that curse techniques can still work on them just fine. We see Gojo using blue, red, purple, all on Toji, and they all hit. And they all do damage just fine. We see... Maki can still be affected by things like the 24 frames technique. She can still be frozen in place by stuff like that and slammed just fine. It's the barriers that they're immune to because they can't be recognized by that. But they're still people. They may be walking, talking rock people, but they still are people fundamentally. So they can still be affected by any curse technique, which is why I think Maito could still hypothetically do something to them if he touched them that's where the whole like weird soul body strength immunity thing will come in because notably gege notes in external volume extra that kenjaku could have hypothetically taken toji's body but didn't because of the heavenly restriction stuff it may have actually interfered with his brain controlling technique and bada bing bada boom they may have actually been able to fight back like in a similar vein to how when the seance technique was used to summon toji's soul he overrode the soul of the grandchild and just completely took over so that may end up happening to kenjaku he may have just accidentally brought toji back to life because the rest of his body would have just revived if he took over the body so maybe, hypothetically, they could resist something like Idol Transfiguration because their body is so powerful and it inadvertently like reflects upon their soul being extremely powerful. So they may be able to eat it, but at the same time, it's a cursed technique. So they may be immune to something like the self-embodiment of perfection domain because the domain wouldn't be able to recognize them. But in terms of like dealing directly with Mahito themselves, sure, they'll speed blitz and absolutely annihilate them with Soul Splitter. But in terms of like 
actually, you know, dealing with the effects of Al Transfiguration if Mahito were to land a hit, I don't think they could. Because notably, the main people who defend against Soul Transfiguration and Idol Transfiguration are people with A, Cursed Energy like Nanami when Mahito was much weaker and wasn't able to use his technique as well with the Cursed Energy defending his soul, and or Yuji, who has two souls and the other soul inside of him is Sukuna who could just absolutely swat away Mahito like a fly. So that's the only other thing that they could hypothetically be immune to, just because of the whole like super strong body, super weird soul situation. That's about it. Every other curse technique in the verse should work on them. Like there, there's no, there's nothing special about that. Like the domains, yeah, sure. But if they are visible, if they can be hit and they can be seen, they can be affected by a curse technique. Like, there's no reason that they shouldn't be. I've heard people arguing that they should be immune to sky manipulation because, like, sky manipulation wouldn't recognize them. But, like, sky manipulation bends the sky. The sky don't got cursed energy in it. <laughs> like, they would, get, they would get yanked along like anybody else. You could argue that they may be fast enough to avoid Uro and thusly wouldn't be hit by sky manipulation. Or you could argue that as long as Toji has the inverted spear, sky manipulation wouldn't work. But very specifically, it's not like they're... It's not like they're immune to all curse techniques. That's the main point. Like, they are not immune to any curse techniques. Like, they are not strictly immune to anything. In fact, some of them may be even more vulnerable than your average sorcerer because they have no cursed energy. They just happen to be really, really strong, really, really fast. So it's not like they would struggle against Toge. Before Toge could even get out a word on either of them, he would be decapitated. Like, that, it's simple as that. They would be done. But against anybody high level enough, anyone who could actually perceive them, yeah, they ain't doing good against Yuta if he pops out that cursed speech. They ain't doing good against Ri if they get smacked in the face with a granite blast. They ain't doing good against Kaju if he starts laying them paws on them. <laughs> they do not have any kind of special resistance. And they will get done worse than other people who do have cursed energy because they can at least resist them. Hakari, when he had a whole ton of cursed energy, could somewhat ignore, not if not flat out ignore, Kashimo's electric affinity to the point where he's like, hey, you feel a tingle or something, bro? Like, what, what is this? What, what is this? Meanwhile, like, I feel like Kashimo could touch Maki or Toji and they would start spazzing, like, immediately because they have no resistance against it. They are not immune to electricity. They would still get done dirty by that. I could definitely, they could probably... The question is, like, would they be... I don't think so, because, like, it was flat out invisible to the domain. So, hypothetically, Joko would still be stuck out of luck if he opened the Iron Coffin. But if he just, like, made an area extremely hot, like, just turned up the temperature a whole bunch, they would still start sweating. They would still probably burn alive. Like, just not in his domain, because the domain wouldn't be able to recognize him. They'd be invisible in there. But if, like... Joko just drowns the whole area in lava, they're still going to be affected by the Cursed Energy Lava. Heck, even in a scenario with something like Megami, like if Megami were to open a domain on them, they'd just fall. Like, unless they preemptively know to jump and start, like, air skipping like Maki started doing in the middle of her fight against Noia, yet yeah, they, they'd still be done in because they'd just fall because they have no way to reinforce themselves or their feet with cursed energy so they just fall right on through into the shadow forever they'd be stuck there that'd be an automatic gg unless they could like swim through the shadow maybe they could do that because they can do that whole weird air hopping thing that maki showed that she can do but even still i'm not all too sure about that she did the air hopping thing once and it's Noya. so who knows who knows maybe not they may just be done in so maki and toji are still broken don't get me wrong being able to completely ignore the apex of jujutsu is great the fact that they could just stand there in the middle of infinite void and Gojo would just be wasting his infinite cursed energy. Uh, yeah, that, that's great. The fact that they can just absolutely negate Hakari in his entirety because he couldn't even activate his domain. Because presumably, if Hakari could solo activate his domain, I don't see why bro wouldn't always be in jackpot. I think he does need someone else to trap him in with there so they can play with him. That's the whole point. They're playing against each other. So Hakari could never get into jackpot against either of them because his domain would never be able to recognize them. There'd be no information to feed anybody. There'd be nothing there because they are walking, talking rock people. The ability to be completely immune to self-embodiment of perfection is fantastic, and they are more than fast enough and more than strong enough for Soul Lib to absolutely body bag Mahito regardless. And obviously Toge is not a threat. So there are definitely things that they can completely ignore due to their stats, their speed, their physicals, and some of their heavenly restriction perks, but they are not immediately immune to every ability in the verse just because they get to ignore domains. In fact, they are more vulnerable than many other characters would ever be because of the fact that they have no cursed energy and thus cannot reinforce themselves at all. They just gotta hope their base durability is enough to hold up against things like being told to explode. 
being told to be crushed, being told to hold still, being told to freeze, everybody clap. Yo, like legitimately, they're in a really weird spot to where they're immune to like the top of the verse, the best of the best. For the most part, like, I still think Kenjaku and Sakuna's domain work just fine on them because they don't rely on barriers. I think they'd be done in by both of those. So they're like, <laughs> it's weird because they're immune to, like, the middle. The middle. Because they aren't immune to the pinnacles. They aren't immune to the divine domains. But they're immune to all the garden variety domains. Except for the ones that target things without cursed energy, like, implicitly. Like, straight up, they would fall to Megami's domain, which is, like, the bottom tier of all domains because it's not even a complete one. And then every other random curse technique works on them just fine, if not better. Like, <laughs> it, it's really weird to think about where they stand immunity-wise. They're either completely immune to your greatest technique and then can get affected by your regular one just fine, if not better than other sources would be affected. And they're not immune to the peak and pinnacle of the peak and pinnacle because, like, they are not those guys. They simply cannot ignore all curse techniques, which is very interesting. I feel like Gege built that in as, like, a balancing metric. Like, yeah, they're really, really good. They're really, really strong. But they aren't, like, pinnacle of the verse strong. They can still be affected by things that are not the peak, and especially the peak. So, I, I like how Gege built them. I like how Gege built them. However, that's what I think. If you guys think I'm wrong, do you think they have immunity to certain techniques just due to their special biology? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure the little case will miss out on every video second of the channel. Also, also, I do have a page down below. Each one as low as one, count them one, dama, exclusive videos, early content, and more. It also now become a member of the channel for as low as three as a month to get the same perks and more. Now, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Lago the Pencil, writing off.